Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea and I love the Pilates Method. And today I have another collaboration video with my Los Angeles colleague Leslie Logan of Profitable Pilates. And this is another installation of our series, The Struggle is Real. Today we're going to look at the seal, which is a rolling exercise that's done on the mat. And this is not really a basic exercise, but it's not really a crazy exercise. There's going to be a lot of people that will do the seal. It's pretty much an intermediate level exercise. And let's take a moment to rank it with all of our other rolling exercises, as far as easiest to most challenging. So our basic rolling exercise on the mat is rolling like a ball, which is very straightforward. I'll just give you a visual that you're in the shape you're rolling back and forth with control and you're hitting that sort of sustained upside down position. Then we have our next challenging one, which is really the same thing, but with extended limbs. So it's open leg rocker. And then our next challenging exercises in the rolling series all come in rapid succession. So we have the boomerang, which depending on you, how you learned it, this is one way you may have learned the boomerang. And then you also may have learned it like this. And then we have our seal, which comes sandwiched in between the boomerang and the crab. And the seal I believe it's the it's sort of more difficult, even though you know if you look at it, it's kind of very similar looking to rolling like a ball. Here's your rolling like a ball. Here's your seal. But while you're all tied up like this, you have much less opportunity to kind of cheat and open up the shape to make it more manageable for yourself. So it's quite possible that you may have people that can do the seal, but they kind of get stuck because they're forced into the shape, essentially. And if left to their own devices, it's hard for them to get up without doing something momentum wise with their legs. So that's why it's a little bit trickier and more advanced than rolling like a ball. The other lovely thing about the seal is that at the intermediate level, it is the final exercise usually that's done on the mat. So it is the way that you will roll up to standing. So your seal is giving you a lot of good stuff to propel you up to a standing position. And then it's sort of later as you add the exercises that, that are after the seal on the mat, then you'll stand up after control balance in the full mat workout. So let's look at the seal and talk about some things that can be a concern and that I've seen and I probably have some pet peeves that I'll talk about. I'll try not to make this video into a rant about the seal, but you know, I can't be trusted. So sometimes I find that people are concerned about how much they should roll back upside down onto their neck and head. And I would say as a general rule, you kind of don't want to park yourself back on your neck and your head. You, there is a point in every upside down exercise where you're going to hit that same sort of the body upside down jackknife shape. And as you progress through the exercises, you know, for rolling like a ball, you're there for just a moment. For open leg rocker, you're there for just a moment. And then for exercises like the jackknife, you're of course there for longer as the exercises get progressively and progressively harder. And for the seal, you are there for a moment, staying nice and lifted to do those little claps to test your balance. So let's talk about why and where you should be. It's predicated, you will be upside down, your head will touch the mat, if that's something that's available to you, but it's predicated on the fact that your powerhouse, your seat, your stomach, everything is holding you up and lifting you in the air in that position so that you're not a heavy sunken thing on your little neck and your head. So you'll have your same lift that you have when you sit up. Also when you're back here. And I feel like I can feel my, that this is touching the mat, but I really feel my bottom 
working the hardest. I don't really feel any pressure here at all. And for you to get the point where you can balance and clap, 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 you really have to let your head go to the back. If you don't put your head down, it's going to actually be a lot more strain in here and really much harder to have that lifted, sustained moment. So that's one of my things I'd like to say about the seal. Yes, your head is touching the mat. Yes, you are suspended up and upside down, kind of vertical, but you are lifted and engaged, so you're not detrimentally putting too much pressure up here. But let me say one other thing. Sometimes, and I'm a good example of this actually, when the back is tight, the part that you should be balancing on, which is kind of this upper, behind your upper stomach, that back of the rib cage area, that's the area that really is your balancing point. And if that area does not bend, it's gonna be hard to stay balanced there. And your body's gonna make you wanna miss it and go right up to balance back here. So I would say, if you're someone that you feel like that's the reason for you, why you get more stuck here, because this is kind of stiff, think that really this is what you're trying to kind of keep on the mat and stretch over to be where your feet are, if that makes sense. So instead of feeling like, you know, this part is leading the way backward, keep feeling like you're starting there. So I would clap in the front. Let's see if I can do it. And then imagine that the rib area is what's leaving, leading that, that lower body action. So see what you think about that. And if you hit it right and it, you need that spot, it'll probably feel like a big stretch or like it doesn't move. But that cultivating that area as a balancing point will help you to not put pressure on the neck. Okay, so now I'll leave that aspect of the seal and let's talk about one other element. What do you, where do you put your hands? Where do you hold? What do your feet do? How is this position created? So you want to feel like the same compactness and control that you find in this ball shape. You know, in the rolling like a ball, usually when we first learn it, the knees are as wide as the shoulders, so everything's within the frame of the box. And everything's kind of held together. The goal is to keep the same ball shape and goes back and forth without kind of making it change size. So now that you've got your seal, there's a few ways you can make your seal exercise and position just as compact and solid. The arms are going to be on the inside of the legs, and depending on the length of your arm, you want to hold your foot in a way that feels advantageous to you. Uh, you may have learned to hold the ankle, which is what I learned originally. Um, I now hold at the heel, which is a little bit of a different uh, place, for, was a different place for me. It was news to me when I started to hold at the heel. I kind of like the heel because you can feel like you pull your heels kind of right into the low stomach, so I feel like it feels powerhousey, shall we say. And I also like the fact that you could be your own apparatus here. And as your heels press into your hands, it, it can be like you're the spring. And as you feel that pushing away into your hands, you can suck the belly in the opposite direction. So again, it helps you find your powerhouse. Depending on the length of your arm, you want to find a position that when you squeeze your legs together, it doesn't make your elbows kind of push out and hyperextend, if that's some someone, if you're like that, shall we say. I am not really, I don't have a hyperextension, but at the same time as you're squeezing your arms onto your legs, like your little magic circle, you're going to press your arm outward and open your chest so that this clapping position of the legs is like a solid, all, like almost like you're clapping your whole leg or your whole hip. And it's just a test of your balance. So you're going to balance in this position, and you're going to clap, clap, clap. And then you're going to roll back and balance and clap, clap, clap. And just keep that kind of tension in that squeezing position. And I always learned that your, your feet are an extension of your leg, so that you're not really doing anything funny with your ankles. I know that there are versions of this exercise, I believe I've seen people do, where they touch their feet together. Um, and I'm not sure what that's doing. I forget how they do it exactly. But when I see it, it, to me, it really distorts what the ankle joint is doing. So that when the feet touch together, it kind of pushes 
the ankle in a funny way. And so that's why I like the foot just kind of relaxing like that and this kind of clapping. Um, I don't know if this is designed to feel like you can open your low back more, but I kind of feel that once the legs get so wide, it's more about hips opening than back opening to me, and at least what I feel in my body. So I kind of keep the squeeze of this happening. For me, that feels like an opening back here. Whereas if I turn my feet to press together, I really just feel it in here and then this kind of goes away. And it is a rolling exercise, so you do want to have a nice open back, primarily, uh, to facilitate your rolling. So if you have any questions about this exercise, uh, topics or uh, aspects of it that I didn't mention in this video, do please leave me a comment below. If you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see more videos like this, please click the bell icon and the red subscribe button and you'll never miss a post. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll come visit me in Solana Beach, California. San Diego teachers, I'm starting a new class on Thursday afternoons at 5 o'clock starting on January 24th. Uh, it's a five-person maximum class, independent workout. Thank you so much. If you have any interest in that, please leave me a comment below and I'll DM you with the link. Thank you. Bye. Um, so now let's look at the version that I learned from Ramana. Starts very this much very much the same. So you're gonna go over, open and close. And now here in Rana's version, you're gonna pause and land in your teaser. You're gonna keep your teaser, your arms can go behind you, and then you're gonna use control to stretch over your legs, and you'll finish this way. And then you'll just go again. <laughs> 